Hello everyone and welcome to Kidney Disease Management and Self-Care Around COVID-19. Today's webinar brought to you by collaborative efforts of a number of organizations that are based in the United States and uh, United Kingdom. The organizations are following Renal Mates, the Renal Patient Support Group, the University of West of England, the Mission HQ, Renal Diet HQ, Well Within. I'll be your host for today, and my name is Natalia Karpenko. I'll be your moderator for today's uh, webinar, and my name is Natalia Karpenko. Great to have you. The millions of Americans uh, have been under the order of shelter in place for the number of weeks, and some of us in California started the shelter in place in mid March. So that means we've been already under this order almost uh, four weeks. And um, the reason is that um, entire country experiencing the pandemic as well as the world, and we are looking to flatten the curve by looking down states closing non-essential businesses, enforcing the social distancing, and helping to reduce the spread of COVID-19. That means that 316 million people in at least 42 states in the United States have been urged to stay at home. The number of the cases are still increasing across the world, but some of the European countries and Asian have been already experiencing flattening the curve, which means that the number of new cases drastically decrease in those countries. However, United States still experiencing a high number of the new cases increasing. What is important to understand about the flattening the curve uh, that um, even if uh, the curve, the amount of cases, um, the amount of deaths is decreasing is great, but we have to keep uh, enforcing the social distancing uh, to be able to control the pandemic and being able to have enough uh, capacity within our healthcare system to assess patients who are experiencing COVID-19. Uh, of course, for millions and millions of people across the world, um, the social distancing and isolation at home have been the best strategy to stay safe and protected from the COVID-19. However, there is a vulnerable group of patients as ESRD patients who still have to go to dialysis three times a week. Those patients couldn't just stay at home and self-isolate. That's why it's very important to provide all necessary support and education for ESRD patients on hemodialysis, how they can protect themselves during the outbreak. Also important to remember that the vulnerable group of ESRD patients experiencing also the socioeconomical challenges. Uh, many of these patients have to access the food in their local safe banks, and the CEO of American Kidney Foundation already has stated that they have been experiencing a lot of requests by renal patients across the country. Uh, to help them financially to get access to food, uh, afford transportation and medication. However, it has been quite challenging considering the amount of needs uh, we have and the lack of funding. Uh, they're certainly working really hard in a fundraising effort. And if you're looking to donate to any nonprofits at this time, uh, trust me, American Kidney Fund could be a wonderful organization to donate to, to save lives. ...of today's webinar dedicated to the self-care during home isolation. A few words about myself. I'm Natalia Karpenko, founder at Renal Mate, former Livso Incorporation, and I'm also... A few words about myself. I'm a founder at Renal Mates and I'm also a patient advocate. 
at RenalMaid, we provide the mobile-based technology that um, delivers patients a coaching programs that help them to manage uh, their outcomes. So first of all, we're looking for helping ESRD patients who undergo dialysis to improve quality of life, uh, learn about uh, management of the diet, become more active, uh, more inspired and motivated, as well as feel more empowered. Our programs have been showing great outcomes in weight loss, uh, improving level of energy strengths, but also uh, by some patients uh, in very short programs, uh, we've been report, um, improving the outcomes like blood pressure, uh, labs, and ultimately our goal to improve the hospitalization, reducing, reducing hospitalization in ESRD patients. Renal Maid provides adherence management for renal patients, patients who undergo dialysis or patients who are pre-dialysis. Uh, pre Our programs provide a coaching and the tracking technology enables through the mobile app that helps uh, easy to connect with the coaches as well as a program that help to manage daily lifestyle of uh, renal patients help them to be more educated, informed, and empowering, to make a better decisions on a daily basis, uh, to manage uh, renal diet, uh, stay more active, motivated, uh, have a strong supportive community of coaches and other patients, and ultimately improve quality of life. What is very important for the medical teams that patients who are following better regimen and more adherence, they're showing better outcomes on their labs, and also reducing amount of uh, unnecessary hospitalization. Uh, so ultimately all of us have a common goal uh, to make sure that patients have a better quality of life and um, causing less. Okay, next one. I'll be speaking about the precaution and protective tips and we'll overview the PP equipment and many other topics that are very necessary in your household to be aware of. Uh, so first of all, uh, speaking about uh, flattening the curve, and some of you may already hear other terms like crashing the curve, and uh, uh, certainly it's very important that um, we are uh, focusing on uh, reducing the amount of uh, new cases that eventually will lead to a fast decline of the pandemic and the end of it. However, even when we see in the positive, even when we see in the positive trend, we still need to remember that uh, we have to remain the social distancing and we have to be extra cautious uh, somewhere. What's important to remember about the environment? So the rule of thumb that um, the virus lives from 48 to 72 hours on the surface. To be more specific, the virus lives in the air up to three hours, in the cardboard up to 24 hours, on plastic and still up to 72 hours. And if you bring any food from your grocery stores that have to go in your freezer, actually you have to clean this foods and packaging before you put in the freezer, because with freezing you do not kill the virus. Also very important to know the exposure amount. So basically, this is very important, the time and amount. That's why social distancing is so important because it decreases the exposure to COVID-19 virus. Washing your hands, you have been hearing a lot about this and just want to make sure to bring to your attention that the soap and water is your best tool, even better than hand sanitizer, and it's available to all of us. Uh, why so? Because a uh, soap, uh, um, when it um, touches the virus, uh, so the COVID-19 virus, it's covered in a um, fatty envelope. And when it um, interacts with the soap and water, it actually breaks and separates the virus. And uh, that helps
I want to make sure to bring it up to you. Washing your hands is very important. And, uh, and washing your hands with soap and water, it's the best what you can do. Of course, and you're outside, use hand sanitizer. But if you have access to water and soap, make sure you disinfect your hands this way and use 22 seconds or more washing your hands um, very precisely. Uh, think about the virus is um, being covered in fatty envelope and in contact with water and soap, it separates. That helps to dry out virus. And basically, this is a great way to uh, be safe when you come from outside and reduce the exposure to uh, COVID-19. There are a number of instructions how you should wash your hands. And I'm sure at this point, all of us have to get certificates how to wash our hands right. Dry matters. So even uh, though when we washed our hands, some germs can stay on our hands and it's important to wipe them with a towel. If you're in public place, make sure you use a paper towel. If you're at home, you can use paper try, uh, towel or your individual towel. It's the best case for immunosuppressed population to have own hand towel to dry your hands after washing them. PP equipment, uh, so using masks um, is very important because they protect us from touching our face and also protecting from the exposure to the virus. There are a variety of masks. Um, N95 is one of the uh, most protective masks. It doesn't still protect 100%, but it does help uh, uh, to protect uh, uh, from the virus um, exposure. A surgical mask, PM 2.5, and also bandanas and bandanas cloth mask with the layers. Uh, glasses, clear or prescription, gloves, soap and water hand sanitizer and alcohol wipes. And again, speaking about the protective masks, you can actually make your own bandanas and make sure to look some tutorials how to add additional filter layer insert into your mask. Very important to remember that taking your mask off and putting it on is have to be a very critical activity that you do and you pay attention to it. So first of all, you have to wash your hands with soap and water before and after you put the mask. Make sure you put the mask with the right side. So if a surgical mask or bandana, it could be challenging to understand which side you have to use to wear uh, towards your face. So make sure pay, paying attention to that. Secure is the mask using tires and ear straps. And make sure that a mask fits snugly to your face. If there is any adjuster across the nose, make sure you press on it so it fits tightly on the nose area. Make sure you avoid uh, touching the mask after you wore it. And when you take in your mask again, wash your hands prior and take it very carefully without touching the inner layer. You may reuse your mask or you may dispose it. If you will be reusing the mask, you may leave it for uh, some time or you may wash it. So if you will be washing your mask like bandana or cloth mask, make sure you use temperature 140 Fahrenheit or 60 degree of Celsius or higher temperature to be able to kill the virus while washing. Make sure you wash your hands after taking off the mask. Okay, so let's speak about groceries and bringing food home. So imagine, um, I would like to bring this uh, a great example that have been shared a lot. Uh, imagine in glitter, imagine in that uh, anything you bring from outside is covered in glitter and your goal is to not bring any glitter on your hands, on your face, on your packages and your food back at home. So how you do this? So use the top dirty and clean area in your kitchen counter or pantry. Make sure you use some products at home as a disinfective um, uh, products like wipes or soap and water. And uh, 
make sure that you take unnecessary packaging and dispose it and recycle it right away. Uh, you can also take some items like bread and chips uh, and just uh, dump them in a, into clean plastic container without even touching them. Make sure you clean fruit and vegetables, especially even they haven't bought in a plastic bags and make sure you clean them really well. Uh, also, if you have a porch or if you're able to leave some uh, items, usually non perishable the ones that don't need to go in the fridge, um, you can use, leave some of these items for three days outside of your house uh, or on a porch. Just make sure that it's safe. Don't use the reusable bags. I know it's really hard for people who live in California not to use the bags. However, at this time, we have to be very careful and uh, we get the grocery bags in a store to pack our groceries. Very important to have a plan. As a plan, as many of us have stuck up with the supplies, uh, food and medication, also avoiding public transportation, avoiding crowds, non-essential travels. Uh, very important to have a game plan. Uh, so bringing your groceries, uh, uh, having a dedicated person running errands. Also important to think about what do you do when you're outside? Using your PPE, your mask, your gloves, your hand sanitizer making sure if you end up going to the grocery store, you remain a safe distance. And at this point, a lot of stores already have uh, created a precaution, um, have already adopted measures to restrict people uh, walking in a close distance to each other. However, you have to be advocate for your safety in uh, COVID-19. Make sure you keep away from uh, um, Stay away from other people, six feet or more, and up to 13, 14 feet, feet is still a safe or far distance. Sometimes just better wait for someone to pass you by instead of trying to go and cross the aisle together. What is very important when you come back, cleaning those groceries, also disinfecting your hands, and keeping reminding your family members that they have to disinfect their hands and do not touch their face when they outside. You can use a variety of services as a delivery service and uh, uh, you also uh, can learn how you may able to pay or even tip in online uh, during the pandemic to avoid the contact with money that uh, may uh, could trace uh, the virus. Also for your laundry, uh, you have to remember that uh, you have to wash your clothes in a warmer setting and disinfecting your laundry hamper too. And just say, keep that in mind. Don't shake your laundry to avoid spreading virus in the air. You have to avoid guests uh, um, at this time and any gatherings are prohibited um, in majority of states in the United States. If you live with other members uh, in your family, uh, make sure you try to keep the social distancing and avoid sharing the living space as much as you can. If someone gets sick, you have to have a plan. You have to contact the doctor, isolate the person in a separate room, disinfect frequently the surfaces, avoid sharing items, uh, wear the gloves and uh, washing their laundry. Continue wash your hands frequently. Ask them where to mask if uh, they have one. Also, there's something to bring up about the pets. The pets are not immune to COVID-19. And actually, uh, ferals and cats have higher risk uh, of uh, potentially getting COVID-19. It's uh, uh, from the recent study in UK. Uh, the virus... Uh, spreads up poorly in dogs, uh, pigs, chicken, and ducks. But keep your pets closer to home. Uh, so when you, during the pandemic, keeps your pets closer to home. And the last thing, make sure you have all the supplies. Uh, we are speaking about 
EPA approved um, disinfectors, uh, also laundry detergent, uh, trash bags, canned foods, uh, dry frozen foods, prescription mats. And the last thing I want to share with you is the technology enabling uh, to be able to stay connected to the world during this pandemic. A communication with your doctor, adopting telehealth, learn how to adapt uh, um, and learn about uh, new apps or uh, desktop solutions that helps you to connect uh, uh, to your doctor if you need so. Learn about telehealth. Your doctor may already suggest that the proper technologies they are using or technology like Zoom, uh, go to meetings and others. Uh, stay connected to others. You can arrange uh, the online uh, events, uh, see people uh, through the camera. You can celebrate, you can speak, you can support each other. You can use for free technology like Zoom, Skype, WhatsApp, Google Hangouts. Also, there are so many great classes that are available and free or cost a very insignificant amount. And some of, there are so many great resources online and many of them right now are provided by free uh, by companies like Coursera, Umedi, uh, Digital Promise. So make sure you go online and learn about uh, some of these uh, free and available resources. I believe our speakers will be sharing a little bit more what you can do in your leisure time. Also think about wellness. This is a good time uh, for learning different technology and um, how you can practice uh, uh, exercise, build a new routine, and we'll soon you will share some of the great streaming technology available in their company. Also podcasts, books, and music. This is a great time to find entertainment as well as learning something new. You can subscribe to the iTunes podcasts, uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify. You can listen audiobooks and Audible, or also you can just uh, purchase more books on Amazon or exchange uh, your old books. Um, podcast. This is a great time to listen audiobooks and also utilize an additional services for food, meal deliveries, and grocery deliveries like Instagram like Instacart, uh, uh, your local pharmacy. Uh, you can ask um, if they can um, uh, ship you the medication so you won't need to leave the house. And again, uh, to patients who are hemodialysis patients, uh, uh, there is a new guidelines on managing a patient's um, in hemodialysis units. Uh, the facility should maintain at least six feet separation and for patients who have any symptoms, um, in some of the facilities, uh, they're able to put them in a separate space or certainly have to isolate them uh, from the healthy patients. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. I really hope these tips uh, uh, were useful for you. It was at least uh, good to go over them one more time. And I'm thrilled to introduce you to Wilson Dew and um, his programs.